This is the one from the starboard side and um, I'm marking it out and actually making it even bigger still to fill in the, fill in the gap at the back. So a uh, bit of a disappointment because this is uh, like 160 quid a sheet. But there we go. Two days after we got married, Carla suggested we sell everything, buy a boat and set sail. A year later we did just that. In the Canaries we picked up our naked sailor, Dobby. This is our adventure. Back to barging. <laughs> That's not good guys. No, the weather was beautiful down there and the whole week was fantastic and the sailing on a monohull is fantastic compared with the catamaran. So really we were absolutely made up, weren't we? Yeah. Yeah, shame to come back. Yeah, and then it's been raining all pouring, morning, yeah. pouring with rain, and, uh, but yeah, we have to go back to reality. We do. So today we are building the, the, the side shelves of the bed. Yes, so uh, we've got table. two shelves and a shelf top and uh, a backing and everything, so we're in the midst of doing that at the moment. We're going to try to finish uh, the front cabin this week. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Waste a whole sheet of plywood. <laughs> That's worth sixty-five pounds for a start. Oh dear, we wasted the whole morning. Really, we didn't think we were, but we did. So Simon is building the shelves on the side, which is yeah. has been a it's nightmare. It's a bit tricky because it curves in that direction and it curves in that direction, and it all gets a little bit. Mm. So we're just about getting there, and also the end panel isn't square. It's at an angle but that's basically it and then we'll put a surface on top and i am wiring yeah wire is starting to go in that's exciting isn't it So I'm going to keep uh, going with the wiring, uh, I'm going to do this side now and uh, what it takes to the toilet there. Simon is cutting a new piece of flooring oh, yeah. because this one wasn't quite right, wasn't it? No, I messed up completely and so uh, yeah, I'm cutting another one out. So this is the uh, flooring and on the port side of the bed in the front room I've made it too small, I've got a bit carried away with it I think and so I'm having to mark this. This is the one from the starboard side and um, I'm marking it out and actually making it even bigger still to fill in the, fill in the gap at the back. So. So we're just about to put the curve onto this uh, corner here and in order to do that I've cut a template with a much smaller curve on and I'm going to run the router 
around here and cut it. our first delivery from uh, U-Boat, the Chandri. This is our first delivery of Chandri stuff. So what I did was I went out to three different major Chandri chains in the UK, uh, sent them a whole list of stuff and said, uh, could you price this up for me please? And U-Boat were by far the cheapest. So good old Hugo at uh, U-Boat. So uh, this one's just things like uh, pipes and stuff like that. Look at this! How exciting! <laughs> How exciting is this? Yeah! And also some shower pumps. Fantastic! Great, okay, so we have to find some way of mounting this in the bottom of the boat, which means I have to make a hatch in the floor in order to get it in and in location and get at the fittings. So that's our first job today. This is a template I've made. I'm going to route around here a few times to make the hatch, but the hatch should be 88mm smaller than this, and the drain is just there. So. Shower tray. The uh, exhaust, you know, the out, whatever you call it. <laughs> Place where it goes to. So we're really getting into the plumbing here, aren't we? And the. Uh, it's wiring. funny because it's uh, been electric since now it's going to be plumbing, isn't it? So. Yeah. Things are coming out together. Okay, so I have done uh, two of the cables, two of eight, uh, through the ceiling and come into the sides. It's really difficult because the tubes that they were put in the boat um, originally when they built the boat, uh, they are kind of 90 degrees in in the both ends, so it's really, really difficult to go through. But I managed to do two, um, so another six to go. Well, I'm running the cables to uh, the power sockets in the galley now. Uh, it's a bit stressful because the ladies always have problems with that, isn't it? <laughs> so I want to make sure I have the right power socket at the right place for all my machines.
So this whole area here will have a lid on it that comes around to here. Probably a sweep like this, a curve, so that this is like a bedside table, a little shelf underneath. Put your watch and your phone here. And uh, then these are shelves. You can either have um, boxes in there or books. And a bedside, a little bedside table down there. So I'm quite pleased with the way that's coming actually. I have to put a back on here and uh, then I think we're going to uh, spray paint it in a colour. Uh, this sort of contrasts with the boat. Oh, we're doing very well today. Um, tremendous actually. We've done a lot of cabling. A well, you've lot done a lot of cabling. cabling a lot. Yeah, I mean, we've it got... was really hard. My hands tonight yeah. are not going to move. We've got three whole circuits in and all the spurs going off the circuit on the 12 volt. And also we run the uh, cable down to the, the uh, cabin here at the front for the 220 volt, 230 volt. So uh, that's great. And we've got wall panelling in and this side the shelves are made. It's uh, coming on at an incredible rate actually. We're yeah, doing very, very well. good progress yeah. yes, this last two days. Yeah, but yeah. it's great. So uh, yeah, we should see some significant changes by the end of the week. Yeah. yeah. in. I think now we can put the bed in. Yeah, and then we can put the slats in. Yeah, mm. so it's going to look even better. Yeah.